Yo, welcome to episode 5 of the FIFA 16 Women's World Cup here on Mafia TV. Group B, match day 2 gets underway and Spain top of the table with 3 points. The only win in that group, the super match between the United States and Brazil and then 0-0 with Italy bottom a minus 2 goal difference. Brazil were feeling the pressure prior to kickoff. After a goal of stalemate against world champions USA, Brazil needed to start well and start fast. 20 minutes played and we finally had the first breakthrough of the game. Fieza putting Cristiano through on goal and Ana Hoya parried it and allowed her to follow up into an empty net. We were scrappy by the Paris Saint-Germain forward. Back to our first goal of the World Cup. The pressure was lifted and the confidence is boosted for the Brazilians. 83 international goals for Brazil. Cristiano has to a name. Doesn't matter how pretty they are. They all count. But it doesn't mean to say we won't see any spectacular goals either. Spain not to be outdone. Putting Brazil back to square one with this incredible strike from range from Natalia Pablos. A third goal of the World Cup. Out of nothing. The Arsenal striker often prefers to be known as Natalia. Only has 13 goals to her name at international level. Luciana, the Brazilian goalkeeper, didn't have the heart to stop that and spoil Pavlos's day. This game would play like day and night compared to both teams' opening game. Plenty of end-to-end -end action. Christian failing to control Alves's cross in. She more than makes up for it though with a bullet of her own. Natalia, eat your heart out. An impressive left foot strike just on the edge of the area. And Brazil take the lead for the second time in the game. And we now know that scoring goals is not going to be a problem for Brazil in this tournament. And that fact was exemplified three minutes into the second half. Marta, the captain and the best player in the world. Sneaking in, cutting inside and placing it past Dan Hoa for her first goal of the World Cup. Pele with skirts, she is known as. And she holds the record for the most goals scored in Women's World Cup history, 15 to be exact. Hermoso with display some athletic ability, scuffing this is a kick. And failing to follow up with the volley on the left foot. Christiane has unfinished business. She's not leaving this pitch until she grabs her hat-trick and she submits her application for the Women's World Cup Golden Boot. Three goals in one game. No signs of slowing down for the Paris Saint-Germain striker. Textbook finish from a prolific goal scorer. Fair to say the game was well out of Spain's reach by the time Sonny scored this great goal. We've done in vain, however. Time was slipping away for La Roja to complete a defiant late comeback. They still persisted in making Brazil sweat until the final minutes of the game. Sonny almost claiming her second of the game in just a few short minutes denied by the post. Brazil however never a team to sit back when looking for that magic number 5. But Adrezina was foiled by the goalkeeper and Brazil record their first win of the tournament. 4 goals to 2. Amata the captain even including herself in the score sheet. But the story is that this game belonged to Christian who scored her hat-trick and enters the contendership for the golden boot. The second game from the group saw world champions United States play Minos Italy. Crucial game for both sides. The United States in a similar position to Brazil was earlier on where they are yet to score a goal in the competition. Italy however a loss here and they are out of the World Cup. Ali Krieger's ball in intercepted by Bartoli. We got the first glimmer of an attack from the United States. It came from the 
consequential corner. Natalie Hees, ball drilled in, but soaked up by the Italian defence. No threat there. Then less than four minutes later, Ilaria Mauro would stun the world and the champions of that world by opening the scoring. Less than 10 minutes played and USA were already in trouble. Stood no chance and neither did her near post against the power of Ilaria Mauro's left foot. Morgan Bryan steals it from the defender, cuts it back to Tobin Heath who just drills it straight into Diolani's arms. Girelli would reply for Italy, nice shot on the turn, well scouted by Hope Solo. Plenty of opportunities from both teams, Tobin Heath again firing it to Diolani's arms, routine save. Disappointing for Mauro, nearly double the lead snapping it into the stands. Gabbiadini's attempt at a cutback. Again, scouted by Hope Solo. Klindenberg fires it in. Tobin Heath was offside. It was a great game for the neutrals. Girelli working away into the box. Crosses it in. And Masucci, unmarked, fires it. Palmed over the bar by Hope Solo. Abby Wambach would eventually leave the field through injury and Sidney LaRue would come on to replace her as a substitute. Timing was excellent, super substitute, Sidney LaRue firing on the volley with the left foot, equalises for the USA and spares her team's blushes momentarily. Great technique on the half volley with her not so good left foot. LaRue is natively a Canadian, chose to play for the United States, 35 goals for her country and one more there against Italy. We reached the hour mark and both teams beginning to cancel each other out. Alari Amaro, what an opportunity, can't make it count, denied by Hope Solo. This time around it was Gabby Adini finds a way into the box and is pounded away by Solo. Ball still alive and she makes it count on a second attempt. Melania Gabby Adini, what a time to take the lead against the world champions. She is the former player of the year at Italian domestic level in the female world. Klingenberg unable to get to the header before Gabby Adini does. And she pays the price. Referee looks at her watch, blows for the final whistle, and this tournament just gets worse and worse for USA. Sometimes there's a curse of coming into a new tournament as current champions, and it looks like it's affecting the United States right now. Not to take away from the performance of the Italians. Stunning the world. Hilari Amaro and Melanie Gabbiadini on the score sheet. Full time is USA 1, Italy 2. Let's take a quick look at the group table after match day 2 and the United States of America rock bottom world champions with 1 point, Brazil top with 4 points and Spain creeping up second sharing their 3 points with Italy. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you soon in episode 6 as England take on Germany.